Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over some things that I really don't like about the 2005 Trailblazer. And we're going to start off with, well, the way it looks, actually. Um, I think they're pretty attractive vehicles, as long as they're not the EXT version. Unfortunately, this one is. Um, black is also not its most flattering color. Kind of looks like a giant insect, but uh, it is what it is. Going on to some other things I don't like about the Trailblazer um, are the wheels. Not that these are bad wheels, but they are unique. It's a unique uh, lug design for the GMT360 platform. So it's really tricky to get other wheels that did not come off of a Trailblazer Envoy Bravada, whatever. So you can't, you can't just put like Silverado wheels on here or something like I would like to, but whatever. Uh, another thing I don't like about the Trailblazer is when you go inside, the interior, it's, it's a pretty average for 2005, it's fine, nothing wrong with it. But when you sit in the vehicle, like this, I am six foot one, and so I'm not abnormally tall. The mirror is directly in my line of sight whenever I want to look anywhere besides directly in front of me. So I spend a lot of my time driving the car, hunched over with my head, a hand on the wheel pulling myself forward so I can see under this mirror, and that gets quite uncomfortable after a while. And it's just, uh, it's not an ideal situation for me. And I know it's not for many people too. And the, to make the problem worse, the driver's seat is not height adjustable. And I don't think it's a height adjustable on any GMT360, Trailblazer, Envoy, whatever. So you can move the seat front and forward, and or front and back, angle it, you know, forward and back, whatever. But you can't actually raise the bottom of the seat at all. So it's very, very irritating. Um... Other things I don't like about the Trailblazer, the 4L60 automatic is known to be, you know, hit or miss. This one has been, eh, it's been okay. We've had a bunch of them throughout the years, and some of the 4L60s have been good, some have been bad. We'll go on to the, the back area. This is, this is probably one of the more irritating parts of the whole vehicle, and that is the hatch. The hatch and glass are open two separate, like open from two separate things but they both only open electronically. There's no keyhole or anything. So if the car's got a dead battery, you can't open either. And this one, so on this particular vehicle, you can open it like this and that's fine, but you can't open this. And that is, I find that incredibly annoying. I don't know how to fix it. I'm gonna look into that because it's really, really quite inconvenient. Um, and uh, I guess that's really, really all my major gripes with it. I've heard the Govlock rear ends can be a little problematic, but this one's running just fine. Um, the engines in them are pretty solid, but this video is about things I don't like, so we're not going to go into that. But uh, paint, paint doesn't seem to be the greatest quality ever, but you know, it is what it is. It's 15-year-old GM paint. What are you going to do? But uh, other than that, that's really about all I don't like about it. Um, what else, what else? Uh, interior lights, you know, into the radio and the gauges and stuff are known to go out. This one's got some of the, some of the HVAC lights and radio lights out. So, I mean, that's a minor inconvenience. That's no, no big deal at all. Um, HVAC system, especially for the rear, can be kind of tricky. And this car, I'm pretty convinced that the HVAC for the rear passengers just doesn't really work. Because I can turn it on and some kind of fan comes on, but it doesn't come out of the holes in the roof. So, kind of, kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Um, what else do I not like about the Trailblazer? That's about it, I think. It's a pretty solid car. It really is just the, the headroom due to the seat not adjusting, the mirror being in the way, the rear hatch and glass being electronic and having no keyhole. I find that annoying. Um, that's about it really. Pretty solid truck. I dig it. 4L60, you know, everybody knows all about the 4L60. This one's been holding up. We'll put it that way. So yeah, that's really all my complaints with the Trailblazer.